You, you'll edit this, won't you? Yeah, we can edit this out. Right. So we've got another video. Okay, right. Another... Okay, I was thinking, why has that got no sound? But there we go. Right, so this is... Talk us through it, Sal. Talk right, us through this it. is um, PlayStation 2 controller, as you can see. Uniquely styled in a... <laughs> Xbox. Xbox One, no, sorry, original Xbox oh, no. casing. How long is it going to take uh, before we get our, our heads around that the new one is called Xbox One? But um, yeah, the original Xbox uh, casing, but it's a PlayStation 2 joystick, basically, custom joystick. And um, we're going to be um, showing it on this shoot 'em up, which roughly, tra I'm just going to call it mushy because that's what I know it as mushy Martin. I'm not even going to attempt to try and uh, say what it's really called. It's a cave shoot 'em up. Um, it's a very famous cave shoot 'em up, and um, they've done it on a, a, a high definition update on the Xbox 360 down there. But we'll be playing this now on the PS2. Um, we're just going to go with arcade mode. If I press the right button, it always helps. And. Uh, First of all, as you can tell with vertical shoot maps, uh, you have a little bit of a problem where unless you want to stick, to yeah, let's turn that down because it's very Japanese. Um, unless you want to stick your arcade CRT, as we have here, on its side, you're going to have to play it like this. There's, I don't know if mark has got it in shot, but yep. um, you can see the borders. It's bordered to hell. Because the hole. And you're not going to change. If I put my hand, it's a bit dark in here, but if I put my hand there, that's the edge of the TV that side. And obviously, that's the edge of that side as well. So it's pretty bordered, which um, isn't very good, is it? So we're just playing it here. Everything's squished, as we call it, squashed up. We've got um, the classic 60, 60 hertz uh, yeah. update, which is flickering like mad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Couple of days, I suppose, because it's not on an LCD. <laughs> You've probably got the vertical sync showing like hell. Just a bit, yeah. Uh, and because it's uh, originally uh, on this one, they interlaced it, which made everyone go absolutely ape. Because obviously the original arcade was never interlaced. It was a big thing. I mean, this one... Well, actually, I thought this was the one version I patched to be non-interlaced, but it's looking like buggery, isn't it? Yeah. But there we go. This is um, this is it. A vertical showing in horizontal, basically, on this joystick. Now, there's one thing we haven't told you about this joystick. It's got a little bit of a uh, newer fe new feature. New feature. There's there's certain shoot maps you can actually play like horizontal shooters where it flips everything, rotates everything um, to the right. Uh, you can rotate to the left on some shoot maps and what have you. Um, but what happens is is then you either have to look with a tilt to your neck to play it or turn your joystick round like such, which feels ridiculous and unplayable in my opinion. Or with this baby, you've got what's called the tilt mode. Which oh, yes. means, once on, which we don't really want on at the moment, once on, it basically rotates your control. I'm trying to get my head around this. It rotates so yeah. it's as if you're playing the game as a horizontal shoot 'em up. So it rotates the up and the right. Is that correct? Yeah, so if we look here, you've got up, up here. Up becomes there, so down, left, right. So it actually turns it round, yeah. moves it around once. So if this wasn't on and I rotated the screen, and they think then you're going to take your TV and rotate it yeah. up is still up, down still down, left and right. Mm. If you weren't to rotate the TV, suddenly you've got a problem, haven't you? With this, it actually corrects that. So up becomes up, down. Yeah. Left, left and right, right. basically yeah. is what we're saying um, it, it, we'll explain it more when we show it on the, the screen really first of all let's turn that off because what I've got to do is actually rotate this game this is one of the ones I haven't actually set up as yet so let's go into that we might edit some of this out because it's probably going to take me a little bit of time to work out what I've actually got to do So, and the trouble is with this game is unless you press 
a lot of um, PlayStation well, a lot of games. The, X means yeah, X go and, back, which yeah, and, really annoys me. Okay, let's go. Screen setting, right. And this is where I've got my take right. There we go. There we go. Full so, screen. Let's have a look. Now we've got a full screen. Um, let's uh, um, change the adjust because I've changed that for the other side of things. Four, two, three, two. Not the end of the world, but there we go. Right, so now the screen is rotated. And what happens is, as you can see, oh, there's the screen. Yeah. Right? So to go up, if you come back down to the joystick, I have to press up. Yeah. Which means on the screen, it's going up, as you can see. Yeah. And down, if you go back to the joystick, down. Yeah. If you go back to the screen, it's doing that. So it's all which is, wrong. It's all wrong. So, flip that over. And now, and now, look at that. Yeah, it's working as it should do. Now, to anyone who is into these games, a lot of games don't have the option to flip or rotate the controls. So this is amazing, really. So let's have a let's have another go. I'm pressing the right button this time, which is always good. And let's um, let's go to maniac mode, which means it's more bullets. When it plays properly. Look at that. that's, uh, that's absolutely amazing. I just pan down to the joystick so you can see the uh, the legend at work. And there we go. I'm just so natively he's... looking at the screen. I mean, this is this is amazing. So now we're playing a vertical, basically like a horizontal. I mean, back in the day of uh, like the Sega Saturn and what have you, with Ray. Ray well, it was Ray Force, wasn't it? Which was known as Layer Section, Galactic Attack. I think people knew it as, and things like that. This was—you uh, could actually rotate the screen like this, but you could also rotate the controls. Um, it was fair, of, you know. It was basically a very few games that allowed you to do that, um, and it's got worse and worse regarding the amount of titles. That do actually allow you to do that. So with this joystick, it doesn't matter if they give you the option to do it, who cares? Just flick the switch and boom, you're playing. I mean, I've, I've worked out how to do this, and um, is there any other joysticks, would it be useful on the Saturn one arcade stick, or would it oh, just... Oh yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's useful on everything, really. If you're going to make a stick, you might as well put the option in there. Yeah. You're giving people the option. I mean, I, how much more work is there? Is it quite a lot of work uh, to do it? It's a lot more wiring, it's about uh, another, hang on, it's got to count it up, for another 12 wires. Another 12 another wires. Another 12 I mean, wires and a, and, a, and a switch as well. Mm. It's a lot of... Maybe it's an option you'd probably you give people you, if they want it. I mean, if you wanted a, anyone wanted I mean, a Saturn personally, one Personally, I would go with the option, I'd, you know, go put with it the in, yeah. to, to, to give me the option, whether I wanted it or not, um, give me the option to do it, because... There's so many games that don't allow you this option via software. So what the hell? Cut in with the hardware and give you the on and off yeah. switch. Yeah. So it just absolutely relifes all the system, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah I because mean, because there's some know, superb it's... shooters on this machine, the PS2. We haven't had, we haven't done much with the PS2, have we? We sort of talked about it and decided to no, and, go I mean, down this route. This had quite a few of the um, the cave shooters. Um, and let's face facts, even people who didn't know the cave shooters, when you've uh, when we've done things with their systems and what have you, and given them a, a disc with the games on, they're, they're wanting these games, aren't they? Yeah. Are there any more like it? Blah, blah, blah. You know, and... Uh, I mean, it is a good... They call it a, jo it's a joystick tilt mode, I've called it. Um, yeah, which, and, I mean, uh, it's a play it's, on the thing, yeah, it's, it's a rotate of the controls, but yeah. a tilt as in, if you weren't to, you'd be tilting your bloody neck, wouldn't you, let's face it, your head. It's great because it's just a simple flick of the switch, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, and that's what we want. We've no complicated um, moves to get it to work, it's just there on, the, on your switch, which is great. Now you're playing a vertical like a horizontal. Yeah. Feeding so. your way through those bullets. 
So is there anything else we want to add on this one? No, I no. think we're done okay. really. I think it's uh, shown it all. I'm just enjoying the game really. <laughs> I must have been. Yeah. Just, My arm's yeah. getting tired holding this camera out. I know, it's hard work, <laughs> isn't it? Alright then, so... Uh, Signing off really, okay. isn't it? We'll see you later then. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.